If I tell you Japanese apartment, what comes to your mind? Yes, tiny apartment, tiny houses. This video has nothing to do with the size. So in this video, I'm going to show you seven special features that you can find in a Japanese home. And by entering the home, I just showed you the feature number one. Behind me is the entrance, but in Japan, it's called a genkan. So the purpose of a genkan is that when you enter a home with dirty shoes, you take them off in this area. Then you put on some slippers and you continue into the home. That's why you will almost always find difference of levels in entrances in Japan. So usually you will find some type of closets you can put your shoes inside. We are pretty lucky, we have three big closets, but we have five living in this apartment, so... We need the space. Feature number two. So in Japan, there is no central heat or heated floors. So during winters, when it gets cold outside to heat up the apartment, we use this. Yes, an AC unit. During the summers, it cools off the apartment. And when it gets cold, you use this to heat up the apartment. And we have one in almost every room of the apartment. One, two, three, and four. So feature number three, the toilets. So if you've ever been to Japan, you know toilets are different. Let me show you why. So here is the main reason why Japanese toilets are different. Here you can wash front, here you can wash back. Here you can regulate how strong you want it to be. You can choose how warm the water is and how warm your seat is. And let me tell you, when it's really cold outside and you turn on the warm seat, your butt is already thanking you. So another cool feature of this toilet, when you flush the toilet here, water will run down, you can wash your hands and then the dirty water goes inside the tank to fill it up. So the next time you flush the toilet, you are using the dirty water. So, for feature number four, we are in the kitchen. So, if you're living elsewhere than Japan, usually in your kitchen you can find a big real oven. In Japan, ovens are quite different in size and in purpose. In Japan, there is this behind me. And this is a oven meant to cook fishes. Let me show you how it works and how it looks. This is the stove, nothing special here. Pretty classic. Button, turns on, okay. But down here is this fish oven. As you can see, it's pretty small. This is the size of my hand. And you have a small tray inside put your fish inside and as you can see it's pretty narrow here see the size of my hand i can fit three fingers there so don't expect to put an entire turkey or an entire chicken inside because it won't fit we were used to cook a lot uh, in the oven since we are now in japan because this is pretty small and uh, quite different from what we are used to we ended up not using it at all because we are not cooking so much fishes at home so yeah that's a feature that we won't be using so much so for the last three features we are in the bathroom. Let's start with feature number five. This, this is a big problem for us. It's a normal washing machine like you can find elsewhere. But the feature that is actually missing, the thing that we would love to have is to have the possibility to wash with hot water. Yes, in Japan, most of the washing machines are washing with cold water. It's annoying because stains will not get removed with only cold water. So this is the first part of our bathroom. This is the part where you clean your teeth, you put your makeup on, etc, etc. And here on this side, we can find the feature number six and number seven. Let's go inside. So let's talk about the feature number six first. So this entire space is meant for you to shower. No need to worry if the water goes everywhere. It's meant for it. And once you are clean, you can go in the bathtub. And let me explain why it's so. so usually in Japanese home, you have to take a shower. You have to clean yourself. Once you are clean, you enter in the bathtub full of hot water. It's meant for you to chill after a long day of work or just to relieve the stress. And this water is also meant for the entire family. So that's why you have to clean up yourself before entering in the water let me show you one thing you see this with the push of a button i can fill up the water i can also select a... exactly you can choose the temperature of the water there is the same in the kitchen so you can also fill it up right from the kitchen so it's ready when you get in the bathroom the water is hot the water is ready so it's a pretty cool feature and for our last feature feature number seven this as you can see, we are hanging a clothes here. It's not because we don't want to put it outside. It's because this room is also our drying machine. And because this entire room is sealed, it will get really warm inside. So this is our clothes waiting to be dried. And here on the outside, you have this panel here. When you put on dry, you select the time you want it to dry. And you can hear from inside, the air is coming hot, you have your clothes hanging there and you just go outside 
close the door. And once the timer is over, your clothes should be dry. So that's it for our seven special Japanese feature in our home here in Japan. What do you think? Is there any feature I showed you that you would like to have in your home? For our side, we are learning to live differently. We are learning to cook differently. We are trying to adapt to the fact that we have to wash our clothes with the cold water. But I think that there is a workaround, but it's quite a pain to do. Let me know in the comments if your home has maybe a special feature that is maybe unusual. I would love to hear your stories, what your home has as a special feature in comparison to other homes. We see us in the next video. Bye.